What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess. And I'm back with another video. I'm back with another, um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm back with another blackout message. Kind of a blackout message. I know y'all can still see me in my room or whatever. Y'all can see my room. Um, I just woke up from a crazy dream. God just gave me a crazy download, a crazy vision. Um, so I thought that I would uh, share it with you guys. Um, again, if you are new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I don't read cards based off the meanings. Um, again, I'm a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. I also come on here where I do blackout messages, uh, messages where I show my face and where I don't. Basically what I'm doing now, uh, where I talk about the government, the end times, preferably the end times, love, life, relationships, whatever God puts on my heart, mind, body, and soul. Most of the time it's in the dream state. Um, if you're not interested in a video like this, I'm sorry. Uh, this may not be for you. Um. I will ask you to go read my description box because I don't just do tarot readings. Um, I do prophetic messages as well. But I'm just going to talk about a dream that I had. Um, I just woke up from another prophetic dream. And again, I thought, it, I thought that I would share it with my subscribers as well as share it with the masses. Um, so, yeah. So you guys, um, I had a pretty good evening yesterday. Yesterday was a great evening. I had made some uh, green chicken chili enchiladas. I did my hair. I did my makeup. Hell, sometimes I do my hair and makeup and don't even go nowhere. I know ladies, do you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, you know, we all have to pamper ourselves. But anyways, I had ate them green chicken ch chili enchiladas that I made. <laughs> And I got full, I got in my bed, and boy, I went to sleep. And I went into a deep sleep. I think around maybe 9 or 10, maybe 11-ish probably at the latest. And I just woke up, man. And when I tell y'all I had a crazy, crazy, crazy dream. It was a short dream, but it was a crazy dream. And it's like when God gives me prophetic dreams, it's like, They'll feel so real, and then he'll wake me up for I know what happens next. <clears throat> but anyhow, enough of me running my mouth, being random. Um, so I dreamed that, um, and this is crazy because I have no idea who this was, who these two people are. So maybe this can resonate for somebody some of you could be pregnant right now or you just had a baby or you about to go into labor in the next two to three days or two to three weeks. But um, I dreamed that I was chilling at a couple's house. I dreamed I was chilling at a couple house, um, somebody's masculine house. And you guys, if you're somebody that thinks, oh, she just on here talking about random stuff, she making up stuff. Well, this fam, this not family, but this this reading, this prophetic message may not be for you, but some of the things that I say could resonate. So anyhow, <clears throat> I was chilling, I was chilling at these this this couple house, and of course, um, it was a young black male. And it was a young black woman. Uh, the black woman was pregnant. And uh, I believe that their parents was there. Or I think the, the young black male that I seen in the dream, his mother was there. So it was his mother, the young lady that was pregnant, and it was myself. And we were all just talking, you know, just talking randomly, laughing and giggling. Um, I believe his mom was in the kitchen cooking. I don't know what she was cooking, but, you know, everything seemed to be smooth. Everything was going cool. And you guys, I'm getting somewhere with this prophetic message because God wants me to tell the masses something. So just go with me. Just ride with me. So um, all of a sudden, 
the young black males, and I don't know who these people are in my dream, the young black male says, hey, go get the door. Somebody's at the door. So I opened the front door and it was flames everywhere. I mean, flames everywhere. Like just like, like somebody took a damn fire extinguisher full of flames, but the flames didn't touch me. When I opened the door, I was so scared. I hurried up and closed the door real fast. And then I ran to the back while screaming as I was running to the back. Cause I feel like I was inside of an apartment. I wasn't in a home. I ran to the back and I, and I opened the sliding doors and it was fire everywhere. And I just remember screaming, running to the back sliding doors saying, Oh my God, it's a fire outside. It's a fire outside. And so I looked, I looked at the young black male and I looked at the young black woman that was pregnant and I looked at his mother and we were all so scared. Remind you guys, I have no idea who these people are. So I guess the young lady was so frightened that she went into labor and we had to find a way to get her to the hospital. I'm going to just say this. I have no idea how we got to the hospital, but we got to the hospital and she had her baby. I was waiting in a waiting room because they told me that I couldn't go back there because for some apparent reason in my dream, and, and forgive me, you guys, I know this may sound crazy and all over the place, but God wants me to let my collective know something, my, my subscribers in the masses. So for some apparent reason, I wanted to go back there and help the young lady because I just feel like I needed to be there. But the doctor came out and said, only one person can go back into the, the, wait, the delivery room. So me, some other woman that I don't even know, and this person's mom, we all waited in the waiting room. And then it was, that was it. And forgive me again, y'all. I'm going somewhere with this. God, just, this is crazy. So, all of a sudden, that part of the dream was over with. And I see myself running. I see myself running outside. And it was flames everywhere. But it wasn't flames like, it was only front flames in different parts of the street different parts of the world it's like the whole world was starting to burn down but it was like little bits and pieces and God just kept taking me to different scenes with different people so I, I, I all, all I know is, is I guess some way somehow I got out of the hospital and uh I started running and I seen two women and it was just flames everywhere and so we went inside a, a vacant house and they were screaming at me and I was screaming at them and we wasn't arguing or anything. We were just both, all three of us were saying, we got to take a shower. We got to take a shower. So I wound up, we all, all three of us, it was a Caucasian lady and I think a Hispanic lady. And we all wound up, we all wound round, wound it up in some random person's house and whoever random person house this was, it was a complete mess. So we all took turns and we took showers and uh, we had to put, and I know this may sound gross as hell because it is gross, but I had to put on somebody else's underwear, bra. They had to put on somebody else's underwear and bra. It's like the whole world was going chaotic. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not just saying this prophetic message for nothing. God has showed me something. Collective, God has showed me something, subscribers. I'm talking to the masses right now. I know my dream may sound funny. I know my dream may sound crazy. But how many of you are paying attention to the news? I'm done talking about my dream. But God showed me something. Because I was sitting here contemplating burning my sage saying, God... What are you trying to show me, Lord? Because this dream don't make sense. Because I know this shit ain't going to make sense to my subscribers. God said the world is finna get ready to burn. God is finna get ready to come back. He took me through all these scenes with different people. 
God showed me in that dream. I said, God, why come, why come in my dream certain parts of the world was burning where I was at? And then other parts looked it fine. God told me, he said, my child, things are going to get so bad. Women are going to be in labor. He said, there's so many women out here giving birth to karmic children. Preach, Heavenly Father. I can feel the anointing. I can feel the Holy Ghost. He's saying there's so many women out here giving babies to karmic children. Karmics giving babies to karmic children. He said, tell the masses, tell these women out here, stop casting your pearls to swine. Stop trying to take people's husbands and boyfriends and men because you want money, because you want to come up, because you want to live a lavish lifestyle. Stop it. Do you know who you are? I'm talking to the black woman. I'm talking to all women. You are a queen. You are a goddess. You need to conduct yourself that way. The Holy Spirit is telling me that so many people has invited the devil to their doorstep. Hell, fire. You've allowed hell and fire to come to your doorstep because you keep putting your mouth on people. You keep gossiping about people, people that are divine. People that sit in the palm of the hand of the Lord. People that are earth angels. People that are chosen. You judging people a book. You judging a book by its cover. You're not even opening a book and reading it and getting a chance to get to know that person, that man or that woman. You judge others based off what they have and what they look like. And let me tell you something, earth angels, chosen ones, star seeds, they can be sexy. They can dress up. They can look good. People think if you got to be an angel or a prophet or a prophetess, you got to look a, a dress a certain way. You got to be a nun. You got to look a certain way. You got to talk a certain way. You don't know if you're in the presence of the Lord. You don't know if you're in the presence of a chosen one or an earth angel. The Holy Spirit is telling me right now, so many of you are inviting hell to your doorstep because you don't know how to stop gossiping about people. You don't know how to stop sleeping with people, man. You don't know you don't want to get, get your own man for your own goddamn self. I don't fucking know. Excuse me, Heavenly Father. And listen, yeah, I do cuss sometimes. And if you don't like me cussing, then get off my channel. But this is how I get my messages. And sometimes that's the only way people going to hear you is if you cuss. The Lord said it's a lot of people sleep. Huh, I can feel the anointing right now. And if this message ain't for you and this reading, this prophetic, excuse me, if this prophetic message is not for you, I guess you get off my channel. If you somebody that's coming out here saying, damn, one minute she do tarot, then the next minute she do this, she do that. Well, this is my channel. And if you don't like it, bye. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I love you and I thank y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate the few subscribers that I have. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for coming back to my channel, listening to me. It's greatly appreciated. But I can't help what I see. I can't help the downloads and the visions that I get. It's a part of me. It's a part of my destiny. It's a part of who I am. Spirit said, God said, have y'all been watching the news? You worried about inflation, gas prices, food prices. And I want to say, if you somebody that got food in your stomach, food in your refrigerator, a roof over your head, your bills is paid, you ain't struggling and wanting for nothing. Take that as a blessing. It might not be what you want, but you're doing better than most. Some of you are going through hell and high water because you mistreated people. You invited hell to your doorstep and some of you need to give your problems, your trials and tribulations to God and quit trying to figure it out yourself so God can bless you. You can't figure it out yourself. You can't do it by yourself. You better go to God and ask God for assistance because he will help you. Some of you got too much pride. But God said, he's telling me now, he said, have y'all been watching the news? The lakes is drying up. Hell, I don't know. Oceans too. They, they starting to find dangerous, dangerous pl plants that'll kill you on the planet. Plants and, and, and shit that they ain't never seen before. Creatures and shit coming out that they ain't never seen. I'm hearing the government ain't even telling us that. I'm hearing there's been UF, UFO sightings, alien sightings. The government ain't even been telling us that. I'm hearing some, it has something to do with Area 51. The Holy Spirit is telling me this information now. Spirit is saying, stop inviting the devil to your doorstep. You wishing bad on people. You hate people. You got an evil heart. You got a jealous spirit.
You dancing with the devil. Spirit is saying, give it to God, drinking, smoking, clubbing, partying. And no, ain't nothing wrong with having a good time. But some of you are doing it in the wrong way. I'm hearing uh, uh, um, playing in the devil's playground. And I'm hearing something like Sodom and Gomorrah. I hope I said that right. Wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and smell the air I'm hearing. Have you walked outside? Have you been paying attention to the news? All these heat waves, all these heat waves going on. I said, God, why is there so much fire in my dream? What the hell is going on? God, I don't understand this dream. Why are you taking me to all these random people? I don't know. Hell, some of these people I could have been related to, but I can't see their face. Some of these people I probably do know, but I couldn't see their face. All I know is I could, all I could make out in the dream is I seen two women and a man, and one of them was pregnant. An older lady and a young lady and a man. God said, you better get on your knees and repent. You better ask God for forgiveness. Ask him to help you, guide you, lead you. Take God into your heart, your mind, and your body, and your soul right now. God says, say it again. And I'm saying it, Lord. Have y'all not been watching the news? The lakes is drying up. The Holy Spirit is telling me that, who, Heavenly Father, I got the anointing. The Holy Spirit is telling me that they starting to find plants on this planet that they that's dangerous, that's deadly, that they ain't never seen before. Plants that, that, that they ain't seen in decades, years, centuries. Creatures are starting to come back on this planet. I'm even hearing that time travel is real. That people are starting to come back from ancient times to come heal the planet. Galactic beings, star seeds. I'm hearing it's been UFO sightings. I'm hearing that God is finna get ready to come back to get his people, his children. I'm hearing you need to pray. You need to repent. I'm hearing God is finna get ready to come back. This world is finna burn. This world, this world is finna burn into flames. The lakes is drying up. How many of you not paying attention to the news? It ain't just a heat wave. They not putting this on the news for nothing. I'm hearing the government is scared. Our president is scared. Everybody is scared. I'm hearing pray for every loved one you got right now that's in a pen, that's in a penitentiary, that's in a joint, that's 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 that's, that's doing a bid. Pray for them because they gonna die first. They don't give a fuck about us. And I'm hearing Michael Jackson and Tupac in my head. They don't care about us. Pray for the innocent. Pray for the weak. Pray for the strong too. Pray for yourself. Heavenly Father, God is finna it's finna burn. I don't know when it's gonna happen. I don't know when this world is gonna come up into flames. I don't know if that's gonna be next month, next year, next week. I don't know. But God is saying, give yourself to God. Come to Him. He's saying it's finna go up into flames. He's saying, I ain't causing heat waves for nothing. He said, heart been controlling the weather for a long time. And let me repeat that. God said, heart been controlling the weather for a long time. And for those of y'all who do not know what harp is, harp is H-A-A-R-P. They control the weather, the government. That's what they use to control the weather. They also spray chemtrails. Spirit is saying, get your ammunition. The Uvalde shooting was an inside job. The federal government knew what the hell they was doing. Excuse me, let me say that clearly. The federal government knew what the hell they was doing. They crossed it out on a black book. That was just like 9-11. They crossed it out. Now next, what other ca catastrophic event is it about to be? Because they got something planned for us. Because see, we fighting, we fighting a spiritual battle. See, we don't, we don't battle flesh and blood. We battle principalities. Demons. You better ask somebody. This is a spiritual battle. I said, Lord, I don't even understand this dream that I'm having, Father. I don't even understand what the hell is going on. But God said the world is finna burn. He finna come back and get his children, the ones that lived for him. If you didn't live your life right and you didn't do right, you finna be left behind. This world is finna be burning. You're going to be driving in your car. And on one side of the street, it's going to be burning. You're going to be in the hospital having a karmic baby or just a baby. And well, shit, I don't think you're going to be having no, uh, it ain't going to be no earth angels. And I ain't saying that earth angels don't fuck up, but all the angels and the good, pure-hearted people, they going to be up there with God in a, in, in a waiting area, waiting on the second judgment. Because it's going to be one judgment, and then it's going to be a second judgment. And if you don't believe that the rapture is real, it's real. 
It's going to be burning everywhere. The heat wave. God said, these are the signs of the times. You better open your Bible, open your Quran. I don't know. You better read revelations. Who do you think you are to be trying to be above God? Who do you think you are to hurt people, to talk about people, to mistreat people? Open your eyes, open your ears, open your mouth, open your nose, open your five senses. Hell, use your six senses. Use your spiritual gifts. If you ain't got none, you better get enlightened. Because it's real out here. Are you not paying attention to the news, my people? God said, pay attention. He said, our, our government is scared. The president is scared. The whole world is scared because they can't control the weather no more. Harp can't control the weather no more. God said, I'm tired, my child. He said, tell this to the masses. God said, I'm tired, my child. I'm tired of the government controlling the weather, messing up my creation, messing up my people. He said, the devil is real. Do you not think I'm... Heavenly Father, come on now, somebody. God, give me, come on, Lord. I'm trying to get this message out, but I'm still seeing a vision in my head. As I'm talking, I got my eyes closed. I'm trying to help somebody because I didn't even understand the dream. And the whole time I was in red, like I was in red today, I said, God, because I changed my coat clothes about two, three times today. And I said, Lord, wh why do you want me to put on red? And he told me in my spirit. He didn't tell me in my mind. He told me in my spirit. I'm trying to tell you something, my child. So I cooked them green chicken chili enchiladas. Boy, they was good. And if y'all ain't never had no green chicken chicken, green chili chicken enchiladas, boy, y'all got to make them. Hell, shit. I might have to post a picture. I don't know. <laughs> but I was full. Because I haven't been getting no rest lately. Because, you know, I'm a night owl. I be up all night. Working on stuff, doing tarot sometimes. God said, my child, you got to get some rest. You got to sleep. People be attacking me left and right, attacking my platform, attacking my being, sending me chaos, magic, spiritual attacks. But I'm still standing. I'm still praying, taking my spiritual baths, praying, getting on my knees, talking to God, trying to live my best life. See, some people don't even want you to live your best life. Some people get mad because you dress up and you put on makeup and you put on clothes. And I ain't just talking about myself. Some people want to live your life. They want to tell you how to live your life. They want to tell you where to go, tell you what to do, tell you how to drive, tell you to turn this way, tell you to turn that way, tell you to turn backwards, tell you to turn in front but i am my own god i am a goddess i'm not the god i am a goddess and you are a god and you are a goddess and you better tap into who you are you are a spiritual being heavenly father help me god said this world is finna burn into flames he tired. I'm hearing Sodom and Ingomore. I hope I said that right he's sick and tired of you people come on now he said I'm sick of the black woman he said, you don't look, look at you. Look at who you become. Look at who you are. You a goddess. You a queen. And I'm talking to all women. Your womb is sacred. You letting any man lay between your legs. He said, man, you letting any woman ride on you. You, you, you falling into any woman legs. Yeah. You, you out here sucking and fucking and doing the most. And some stuff I can't even say. Because I'm not going to speak on the LGBTQ, but I ain't judging no fucking body. I swear to God, I'm not. And if you think I'm judging you or I dislike you, then my channel might not be for you. God said to the atheist, come to God. Come to God right now. I know you may be confused. Somebody mama hurt them. Somebody was molested. Somebody was mistreated. Somebody was beat on. Give it to God. Give it to God. Let him have you. Stop judging people based off what they look like. Because they say, uh, what you mean? A star seed can't look good? A chosen one can't dress up. A prophet or a prophetess, they, 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 what they gotta be a nun for you to accept them, for you to accept Christ. You ain't gotta listen to me. You ain't gotta like me. You can think I'm crazy. And like I said, if my, if this ain't, if this message ain't for you, then get off my channel. But God said it's finna burn. We finna burn. Pay attention to the news. I can feel the anointing. Heavenly Father, help me, somebody. Oh, Heavenly Father. He said, we finna, it's finna burn. He said, I can see it in my third out of the whole world. It's finna go up into fucking flames. He said, this heat wave, he said, my child. He said, tell it to the masses, my child. He said, tell it to the masses. Tell it to your collective. He said, if you don't get no goddamn like or subscriber or nothing, he said, tell it. Because they need to hear it. He said, pay attention to the news. 
Learn how to cook without meat. I'm putting messages on my channel every day. I got a channel talking about California is going to burn and Las Vegas is going to flood. Ooh, and I don't mean to be yelling, but I can feel the anointing. We got all these wildfires. They can't even control it. Wildfires coming out of nowhere. God said, I'm playing with the masses. He said, and I'm playing with them on purpose because they need to wake the fuck up. He said, these, 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 these fucking uh, Yellowstone Park. I'm hearing in the spirit. I could be wrong. He said, all these goddamn wildfires. He said, I'm doing that. He said, I'm the one that's doing that, my child. He said, tell it to the masses. He said, I'm the one doing that. He said, heart being controlling the weather for so long the government been controlling the weather so long let me say that harp h-a-a-r-p been controlling the weather for so long he said i'm tired of it my child he said i'm crying looking down at my people seeing them betray me he said i love y'all He said all these goddamn wildfires, wild, wildfires going on. I hope I said that clearly. He said, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. He said, these firefighters is just is just waking up and there's wildfires everywhere. He said, I'm doing that to show you who God is. You disrespected my plant, my planet. He said, stop littering. Throw shit in the trash. I don't know. That's a small thing, but shit. He said, no, nah, that ain't small. Polluting the air. He said, work on smoking and drinking so much. I don't know who that's for. Hell, it might be before my damn self because I do have wine every now and then. And smoke a little bit sometimes too. He said, it's finna burn. 